my brothers and sisters. And here we are again dealing with an entitled coward attacking a citizen from behind. To paralyze a citizen, to cause lifelong injuries, to put this man in a wheelchair for the rest of his life makes no difference to this tyrant. So what if he makes a fatal mistake? He's punished by a paid vacation and the taxpayers cover the medical bills? This has got to stop, my fellow citizens. Watch this and you be the judge. The news first starts now. He should be fired. You know who else should be fired? His superiors who said it was okay. You can hear the outrage boiling over. Attorneys absolutely fuming over this video. Shows a man being violently slammed to the ground by a deputy in Paulding County. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Tracy Hutchins. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. And the use of force that we saw there now being called unnecessary, unjustified, and unlawful. This all happened 11 months ago, but that video just coming to light right now. And today, lawyers demanded that this deputy, Michael McMaster, be fired and charged. We checked and found McMaster has been a Paulding County deputy since 2015. He has more than 1,100 hours of police training. And according to the Peace Officer Standards and Training Council, McMaster is in good standing. Atlanta News First reporter Rachel Aragon is live at the Paulding County Sheriff's Office in Dallas, Georgia. And Rachel, these records may not tell the entire story. Correct, lawyers for Tyler. Canaris actually say there's some records right here that show complaints saying that the deputy in question, McMaster, in the past has been previously overly aggressive. Again, these complaints right here, though, dating back to 2015, again, the year he became a deputy here in Paulding County. It's been almost one year since this video was recorded. Deputy Michael McMaster pulls over in Dallas, Georgia. McMaster stops Tyler Canaris walking in the subdivision where records show he lives. Tyler asks why he's being stopped and tells him he's on his way to work. McMaster then proceeds to walk Canaris to his vehicle, trying to handcuff him. Put your hands on your back. This is my phone. Put it down. The deputy tells Canaris to put his hands behind his back and that he matches the description of someone trying to break into cars. Seconds later... After it happened, uh, I had trouble walking to work and not thinking that uh, there was a cop following me. Almost a year later, Canaris detailing the physical and emotional injuries he suffered after he was slammed to the ground. There was no probable cause to stop Tyler. There was nothing to, to suggest that Tyler committed any crime whatsoever. So this was an unlawful arrest. Attorneys calling out the use of force seen in this video and the criminal charges against Canaris. They say months later, he was made aware of a warrant for his arrest. The charge, obstruction of a law enforcement officer. We're here today to demand that the criminal case against Tyler Canaris be dismissed immediately. McMaster was put on desk duty as of Friday, the same day the Georgia Bureau of Investigation was called in to investigate. Attorneys now asking why the county didn't act sooner. What the video doesn't show is that Paulding County knew all of this. They've had this video that you guys saw last week. They've had it almost a year. And those attorneys for Tyler also stress that he is not the suspect in the alleged car break-ins as previously announced. They also say lawsuits will likely be filed. As for the Paulton County Sheriff's Office, they released a statement this past Friday. They say they are fully cooperating with GBI. And they also added over a conversation over the phone with me today that they are giving a hard look at their policies and procedures.